The Insider wrote an article about Ian and the Kanye subreddit. Now, Ian, during the early ages of this show, was a huge Kanye West fan. Mm -hmm. And you used to kind of talk him up all the time. And people on the subreddit took notice of Ian, that he was a Kanye head. And actually, there was a moment when you were getting a lot of respect in the community. So much so, you got invited on a Kanye West podcast. Do you want to you talk about that a little bit? No. <laughs> I, I those those guys have excommunicated me pretty bad. Who gives um, a shit? Yeah, well, uh, I don't want to give them the clout. But uh, yes, I was I was esteemed. Yeah, was they lo- somewhat. You... I was somebody. Mm. Yeah, mm. yeah. And so much so that um, it was um, one. What was the occasion that we got you modded on there? Someone reached out. What What's the story behind how you got the mod? Uh, one of the mods on the Kanye sub reached out and said that they wanted to make me an honorary moderator <laughs> because they thought that I was representing the community, uh, well. He was the, mm-hmm. that, that says a lot. Yeah. So you got the honorary mod status. I was a beacon of terminally online white men who care a little too much about hip hop to a weird degree. And we love that group. So, yeah. Kanye's entire fan base. Yes. Mm-hmm. That Different. is a marginalized group and uh, <laughs> uh, Ian, don't dis- don't don't degrade them. <laughs> and so the mod list for the subreddit is public. On the bottom of the list of like six people is Ian's name, Ian H3. <laughs> and actually they didn't know, but you're Reddit account has no po- literally no power within the subreddit. You have no access. No, it, it was basically just for show. Um, mm. They gave me a key to the city, essentially. <laughs> that yeah. doesn't open a single lock. <laughs> right. <laughs> and so, when all the Kanye West um, controversy started happening, I guess some reporters reached out to the mods. And so, how did this reporter contact you, Ian? Uh, yeah, I got a Reddit DM from a reporter from Insider, mm-hmm. and they were asking for comments uh, and an official stance from the Kanye subreddit on his recent actions. <laughs> That's so funny. And so you took this. Uh, what was your, what was your thinking here? As bro? a person who has not moderated a single time, I thought I was in a great position to make a statement. <laughs> I asked if he had talked to any of the other mods. He said no. No, uh-huh. no responses from the other mods. Yeah, you what had... made you actually choose to reply to this d- Reddit DM? I just thought it would be funny yeah. for me to um, yeah to represent them. Write just the most dramatic. I don't know what they're doing over there. I did not go to that subreddit. I I have not modded that subreddit. I have no idea. But I made a bunch of stuff. It's up. all made up. <laughs> yeah. Were you surprised they printed this? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So here's the message you sent. Is this all you sent them? No, we had a little back and forth. This is a, like a sample, though, of like how I was communicating. <laughs> he was sending me questions, and this was kind of like how I was responding. So, so <laughs> you want to read it, or you want me to read it? I, I can read it. He asked yeah, me, what has it been like in the Kanye subreddit? I said, the world as we know it is gone. <laughs> Diehard fans with no country, a flock with no shepherd. Swept out to sea with no lighthouse to guide these poor souls back to shore. <laughs> Many left this desolation for the pain was too much, seeking refuge in the distant lands of r slash Frank Ocean. (laughs) But for those who remain, they walk amongst this valley of ash and fire with eyes that do not see, for they are now Kananon, husks of former posters, and they are lost. So for a reporter to actually read that and say, (laughs) this is, this is breaking stuff here. Yeah, this is real good stuff. You're obviously fucking with them, or less you would expect them to think, but, but they turned this into an article and... Um, it got re-articled. This goes on, like, a lot of people are reporting <laughs> yeah. on this now. Yeah. Go ahead, uh, let's read part two, Ian. <clears throat> uh, he asked, do I know if the mod team has had to ban more people than usual? Now, I made it very clear I don't even really mod this page. <laughs> they they chose my... not to see that. Yeah. yeah. And I said, <laughs> I'm not exactly sure how many bans they're doing, but you ever seen the movie Ants? <laughs> when the termites attack, I'd imagine it's like that. It's a bloodbath out here. Users are shitposting their way to an early ban grave. Accounts with years of karma, gone. <laughs> Fedoras are flying off. <laughs> Lines in the sand are being drawn. Users cradling their graduation vinyls 
and sobbing into the night. Sorting by controversial is a Dante's Inferno trip to the seventh circle. <laughs> the mods can try to hold the seams of reality together, but their counsel is doomed to be cast into the abyss. Have you ever seen the movie Green Lantern? It's like that one too. <laughs> so. Um, and is it's there, so good. there's no analogy to Green Lantern, right? Uh, that, that was just to throw it out there, or, do you, or did you want to break down that analogy? Well, I was us? sort of saying, like, because I was saying the mod, the council of mods are holding the seams of reality. Yeah. And I was thinking of, like, the Green Lantern aliens that they watch over the universe. Right. There's a lot of high-level activity going on on the subreddit. Okay, so that, that was imagine. so that was a good analogy for them to unravel. Yeah, again, a professional journalist read this and said, "Let's fucking go with this." That's fucking retarded. Well, I won't say that Kanye. word, uh, Kanye, but I, you're right. Actually, the sentiment is correct. So here's the article. Um, did they tell you they were going to print this? Yeah, he was. I sent him all that. I would send him an answer like that, and he'd be like. Okay, cool. And how has it been? <laughs> like, have you been seeing a lot of posts? Or just, he pushed through it pretty strongly. And then he told me, all right, I'll let you know when it goes up. I said, Those Great. insider people Amazing. are on a tight deadline. Kieran, uh, Kieran Press Reynolds, uh, you got got. Here's the title. A moderator of one of the biggest Kanye West internet forums says the page has been a bloodbath <laughs> since the rapper's descent into anti-Semitism and conspiracy theory. It's interesting how that one word really caught on fire, like all of them are saying it. They love the bloodbath. Yeah. yeah. Over the ma last month and a half... Weird how they left the ants part out, though. <laughs> I thought the Green Lantern and the ants was more, uh, was more apt. <laughs> well, because he said it's a bloodbath like in ants, so it was specifically related, so I don't know. It was such a good analogy. I don't know why they left that out. <laughs> oh, yeah, so the Reddit forum has over 700,000 members. Over the last month and a half, the musician Ye has... Uh, sparked backlash for a flurry of incidents. Insider spoke with Ian Slater, a 28-year-old honorary moderator. Okay, so they said, <laughs> they said honorary. Yes. Now what? <laughs> Slate said the page has turned into a bloodbath uh, with many users getting banned. Kanye, uh, yeah, so... It goes what? on. You could skip down um, a little bit. The world as we know it is gone, says <laughs> moderator of Kanye. <laughs> You're fucking dumb. So I don't know what to say, but y'all are actually like so silly for posting for writing this. And they can't drop me. A Insider spoke to Insulator, 28 year old moderator who was once a huge fan, but said he isn't anymore. He said he has converted to a Charlie X Y <laughs> X C X guy after Ye's descent into conspiracy theories. It's true. Slater, Slate. Oh yeah, Slater is also a producer and staff member of Ethan Klein's H3 podcast, mm -hmm. which is where he. Said that our Kanye Reddit team found him because he often spoke about Ye. Slayer is an honorary moderator, which means he has no access. He has access to some tools. That's not true, is it? It, like, they gave me the most, like, basic level. Like, I could mark a thing as spam. It says removing and approving new posts. You can do that? Uh, I think I can, like, you can approve a You can approve it if it gets caught in the auto <laughs> okay, mod okay, filter. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, it's, it's like the lowest level you can yeah. get. He doesn't exercise them. The other moderators granted him the prestigious status as a gift because he was a vocal yay fan. So he even says in here, I don't yeah. mod this page, essentially. Slater's, uh, described diehard fans as citizens with no country. <laughs> the world as we know it is gone, he said. Oh. Hey, here, come, 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 come get me. For the, I can't believe they're quote. I can't believe this article. For those who remain posting and commenting on our Kanye, Slater said they walk amongst <laughs> this valley of ash and fire with eyes that do not see. You cannot be fucking serious. <laughs> yes. As Jesus walks, baby. <laughs> Slater says many fans turned critics have left the forum and taken refuge in the subreddit of Frank Ocean. <laughs> It's crazy. <laughs> what do you? This is such a, it's all about you, Ian. It's like literally all based on your. Uh, yep. <laughs> an interview. I made sure to give my full name because I was like, I'm. I'm going to use this. Yeah, this is getting that check mark. Amazing. Yeah, this yeah. beautiful dark twisted fantasy. But don't. <laughs> I think you shouldn't um, insult the journalist so much because this is like they've given us such a beautiful gift. Yeah, you, you better hope they don't take it down. It down. No, no, I mean, no look, towards, uh, towards him at all. Look, I mean, on one hand, yes, but on the other hand, I mean, <laughs> we talk about journalists and you do a better uh, job here in, uh, to protect democracy and, uh, well, 
Just saying. I, I will Bar's say, pretty low here. I will say <laughs> that out of curiosity, I did go to that subreddit and just to get a gauge of what people are saying. Yeah. A lot of people are against what he's saying, but if you do sort by controversial on all of these posts, there's some shit going on. Yeah. It's all very downvoted, but there are a lot of high level conversations happening. I can imagine. Yeah. I can literally say anti Semitic shit. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Again, he continued. I mean, this is all yeah, just, it just it's keeps crazy. There's really nothing, but it's just, it's about Ian. Funny. That's the whole article. When asked his stance on Ye's anti Semitism and other controversies, Slater said he didn't support Ye's recent actions and was done a- acting as a full time publicist for the musician. <laughs> and was Basically, resigning. me saying that to you, Ethan. I'm resigning. <laughs> I know, you keep it. trying, but I keep asking. <laughs> I'll keep asking. The final, the final thoughts. Yeah. Like at the end of the day, you know more about him than any of us. So I still think, like, you know, you are an authority. You wrote the, I mean, you wrote a screenplay about his life, right? Look, I've got some, <laughs> I've got some article links I can send you, and you just read those. Okay. Okay. All right. The president. Yes. Yeah, so, um, very funny, very crazy. Good job, Ian. Yeah. Made a great segment here for the show. Good job. And then, so N. Oh, yeah. Mm. We'll yeah. throw back. Mm-hmm. Here he comes he in salaried employee. Amazing. What now is N M E like a prestigious? Uh, yeah, it's big music press uh, so. in UK. <laughs> This is so silly. <laughs> and they reposted the article, rewrote about it. Kanye West moderator says Paige has become a bloodbath. And, and then there, later, 28 one. revealed he's stepping down. <laughs> it's basically the same shit re- reprinted, right? Yeah, different different authors on all these. They got the easy job, man. What do they just fucking? And there's another one from the Independent. They kind of they kind of print everything, don't they? I think Instagram asks for three articles, Ian. I know. Oh. Yep. Boom, done. Oh. Boom, one, two, three. Documentary that Candace Owens put up. One of the things that his two rules... Let's not. Look, become a bloodbath again. Kanye they West. Love it. Moderators of rapper's biggest Reddit form says the page has become a bloodbath. Now what? Some users are shitposting their way to early ban, he said. <laughs> again, like you said, Dan. An ant, like an ant. Like an ant. Ants, the movie. Like an ant. It really evokes like a the image because I remember that movie and the bloodbath. I mean, the the termites they're spitting acid. It was a like, uh, hundreds of ants that are just getting burned alive and it's brutal. It's it was brutal. like Saving Private Ryan yeah. with ants. Like the Kanye subreddit. Right. Just like, yeah. Exactly. And then finally. Oh, they've used a picture of you here. Someone, oh, we got a picture. Someone got this as a sponsored post on Facebook. Really? Uh. They should. <laughs> Kings of A and R. You know what would have been best is the one of you in the background of the picture with Kanye. That would have been awesome. Oh, Why did this yeah, picture? they did. Fuck You're up. like, come I at me, this, Kanye. This is the most like Reddit mod looking man. Yeah, yeah. totally. I'm, like, I'm wearing a I own Belle Delphine spit hat. It's <laughs> a guy that's online a lot. They really got cool you good, ass man. dude. That's a cool ass dude right there. Yeah, they got you good, actually. You're right. Yeah. And so. <laughs> Word comes around to the Kanye West subreddit, and they are not happy with Ian at it, all. Oh shit. I mean, the comments have actually s- flopped. I think it, when they realized it was a back. joke. Yeah, and I went and I, I made a little comment in there. But mm-hmm. um, if you were to sort by controversial, I'm sure you'd see some stuff. It's anti-Semitic a, things. I think that's exactly what I would see, right? Yeah. Well, Dan, I didn't look at the comments before it, when it was like all pure Kanye stuff. It was you saying I was catching a lot of heat. Yeah, comments. more than Ian. Yeah. Ethan <laughs> 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 has nothing to do with this situation. I, I, nothing. I, I, and all the comments was like, oh, he works for H3? Fuck Ethan Klein. <laughs> oh <my laughs> God. It's just like, what? They're like, okay, now it makes sense. Yeah, now it makes sense. Mm-hmm. Nothing to do with that one. <laughs> yeah, but so five thousand upvotes. That's that's a lot for. The, I mean, you started by being Jewish. First problem. Huge problem. Issue number right one. Okay. Here, oh, that you got sticky. Is this your comment? No, or? that this was uh, one of the mods there. Uh, he does link to Ethan's or to Ian's comment. Yeah, the bloodbath comment here Ian from the H Three podcast, who I made honorary mod. In 2018, for shits and giggles, it seems like insider approached him because of comments he recently made on the well-known podcast. 
Today, Ian explained his bloodbath comment here, <laughs> which I'll open in a separate window, and has decided to step down as an honorary moderator. We wish him the best of luck, <laughs> and we'll be expecting an apology on tomorrow's podcast for squeezing every bit of clout out of his honorary <laughs> mod title. <laughs> Refusing to do so will result in a class action lawsuit filed on Kanye Cork. <laughs> what the fuck is Kanye Cork? I don't know. <laughs> Holy shit, these guys are in deep. Let me see I'm Kanye. Not I think it's, oh, it's I'm private. Not making that oh, it's date. a joke, probably. It's probably a joke. Yeah. That's a real subreddit. It exists. I mean. Yeah, but I... Um, you have to read my statement. My statement's basically what I said here in the you screenshots I showed, just saying that I was just fucking <laughs> around. Damn, I miss... Yeah. I wish you guys captured some of the people who are really angry, because now it's just like H3 memes, because I got... Cr- Cross reference. Oh, just sort by controversial. But there was ones that like, <laughs> which which one of you fucking mods did this? That I'll, I'll find up it. There somewhere. Yeah, I, I can yeah. definitely like find that. genuine anger. It should be. You really want me to go controversial? All right, give it a shot. I'm going in. I'm going in. What's scary? What clout chasing mod did this? <laughs> Has it really been a bloodbath, though? We don't know. Ian never actually went there. No, I didn't. <laughs> sure, as a moderator, I'm sure he has seen the worst of it, but nearly all the threads and cons I've seen that are anti-Semitic, racist, even pro mega are heavily downvoted. Ah, it's a bloodbath. Yeah, insider wrote it, so fuck you. <laughs> You're wrong. Kanye said nothing wrong. Okay. Oh. Cool. Which, which one of you mods is bitching? Some guy named Ian Slater, apparently, who works for H Street Podcasts. Ian, I love you. <laughs> so that's just uh, it's a good thing. Oh, I love you, but you have made it clear several times you don't like you anymore, and that was a long before all this stuff went on. I think it's time you depart for being a mod. Ouch. <laughs> well, he did. He resigned. I did. He did. I did resign. He's out. Yeah. <laughs> uh, here, I just found one. Some guy named Ian Slater, 20 year old Reddit mod, who also happens to work on the Street podcast with Ethan Klein. And then reply to that. That makes so much sense. Also, fuck Ethan and fuck H3H3. <laughs> oh, I, no. I love that. I love that somehow, Ian, what do you think about that? It's like, oh, he works for Ethan. That make, that explains Ian's complete character as a human being. Yeah. Does that sum you up? I think we are all sort of intrinsically linked to you forever. That's actually yeah. true. Uh, sorry to tell you guys. You're pretty much, yeah, linked to me forever. We're essentially like, there's like nine horcruxes in this room. <laughs> That's true. I will live forever through you all. Um, anyone who's still a part of H3's crew is lame as H3 himself. Like, dude went from ripping the fattest clouds to letting himself go and sitting around giving... Bro. Wait, Listen, what? These people think Vape Nation wasn't a joke. Like, what? this is what we're dealing with. Ripping he was ripping the fattest, the fattest clouds. clouds. Like, he thought he that was cool. Ironically? Yes. No, he's... no, he is. Let me finish this. <laughs> ripping the fattest clouds to letting himself go and sitting around giving surface level takes about Ukraine and Andrew Tate. <laughs> like, come on, man. Make some comedy or at least some better merch. Better merch? Shots fired at Eli. <laughs> <laughs> 